Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, August 27, 2021. I'm the drunk pokeroo tis beer time. We got a lot of beer mail yesterday. It was a wonderful day off. I cleaned out the beer fridge. I got a box of about 30 plus beers to take to work to give to the, the young folks that work with me. I'm trying to, you know, introduce them to some craft beer. They're really into, like, you know, all the stuff I bring in. They try it all because, A, they don't have to pay for it, and B, they're young, and anything with booze in it is good. So, you know, but they're coming around. So I cleaned out all this space, and I'm like, wow, that beer fridge. It looks reasonable now. It's full to overflowing again. So thank you to our friends at Stockyards for being part of yesterday's Beer Mail Thursday. Appreciate it. There was little doubt as to which beer I was going to get into first. The recently released Pacific Dreams, a West Coast IPA, 6.5% Centennial and Citra. Um, you're talking classic, like straight up classic hops. If you're going to make a West Coast IPA, I think, you know, that's where you want to be. Uh, Stockyards has got some great beer coming out. You might want to pop in and see them because, you know, it's a good thing to do. Stock Harris Brewing Company. Love it. So love the rebrand. West Coast IPA, 6.5%. Uh, cheers, my friends, to Friday drinking. Sorry about the wind again, but you know the world. We're not going inside. It's too nice. Cheers. So, you know, you might know me. How you doing? Um, I'm a bit of an aficionado when it comes to West Coast IPAs. I am not with any other kind. Maybe maybe lager. Maybe like Pilsner's. Um, those are my two styles that I love more than anything else. I love I love a good West Coast IPA. This is a good West Coast IPA. Leans heavily into the the, the centennial. Um, the pine is front and center and all around the the back. It's resinous. It is. It's got pithiness. There's some some uh, lemon notes. Grapefruit for sure, grapefruit pith all over this, a nice malty backbone. This is all about the bitterness of the hops and exposing that and allowing you to experience that kind of pith and pine. Um, it, it's wonderful. It truly is. I mean, these kind of beers are, it's funny because we, 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 we talk about there should be West, more West Coast IPAs. If you look around, there are. There are. Now, they're not as popular maybe as the hazies, but they're getting made a lot. Just got to look around a little bit. Your local brewery, man, they've been, people are trying to make more of them because they sell. Because people want, they want both. They want that hazy and they want that bitter. You know, you want them, you want them both. This is a beautiful, beautiful beer. I, I'm gonna only crush one for six five. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me. I still got another day to work. I got to work Saturday. Saturday's always such a busy day, so I'm having another one of these because I have four of them, and well, the three of the ones were my buddy Paul and G, but I have three, and it seems a shame. Not to enjoy this beautiful day. The, the humidity is broken for the most part. It's just a gorgeous summer evening. So enjoy your Friday night, my friends. I'm going to really enjoy mine. Cheers, and thanks again to Stock Carrots. Oh, i got to open the other can now. I mean, this thing's halfway done. Oh, I know. Very first broker albums. 